Glenn Farkless, 30-year-old. Stay tuned for the whiskey whistle. Greetings, my whiskey people. Mark here from Whiskey Whistle on YouTube, sharing a little whiskey awesomeness from Winnipeg, the center of North America, bringing you Glenn Farkless, 30-year-old Speyside Single Malt Scotch Whiskey. Woo! Let's get that poured. Now, it's kind of neat. I love the doors. And you you kind of, you kind can sort of slide it open to release the, the magnetic mechanism. And then it opens nicely. But beautiful presentation, not too over the top. And the bottle is still the standard bottle that Glenn Farkless uses. So let's get that pulled out. Now, for sure, this is all sherry casks. And I'm guessing probably mostly Oloroso. Uh, however, I haven't checked the information so much. And there's very minimal information on the bottle. So I'll put more information in the description below after I record this review. Now, I just opened this last night for Instagram. And this is a bottle that I'm putting into a private corporate tasting that I'm doing this month. Okay, we'll get that opened. And we'll get it poured into my, my Tatwo, my uh, Olaf Tappert Tatwo Trust Against Trust Word of Honor whiskey glass. I think it's an appropriate chalice for this caliber of single malt scotch whiskey. Now, I've had a couple of whiskeys 30 years old and older. What about you? Why don't you share with me your thoughts on whiskey, single malt scotch whiskey, as it gets older? Do you love it? Or do you prefer the 12 to 18 year old, fresher, fruitier, more easily recognizable flavors versus the older ones where you get bizarre things that you never get anywhere but in whiskey, like like old books, like leather, like um, baseball gloves and um, shoe polish, things that are bizarre. But for me anyway, I really enjoy the way whiskey ages. And it's been proven also, even in a blind tasting, that uh, that I am a uh, Durantophile, I think it's called. I, I like old whiskey. So I'm excited about this. Last year, you will know that the Glen Farkless 25 was my whiskey of the year. And that's part of the reason why I wanted to get this 30-year-old for the corporate event. It's also the most reasonable big brand official bottling for 30 years old amongst all of Scotch whiskey, well, Scotch whiskey practically. So first of all, let's have a look at the color of Glen Farkless 30 year old. Come on now. All right. So there we go. What do you see there for color? A beautiful golden hue. I can tell it's absolutely a little bit darker than the 25 year old. It's much darker than the 105, which sometimes is very young. But hey, it's 60% ABV. It's a sherry bomb. But yeah, sometimes it's a bit young. Um, batches do vary. Anyway, so nice color. I don't think we'll be able to see the legs very well here with this glass. But I'll give it a try anyway. Now, I don't think... I really don't think this glass is suited to legs. Whoops, as I spilled some of this precious liquid. Okay, let's see here. No, we don't get any legs here with the Tatwo whiskey glass. But it's beautiful, it's gorgeous to look at. And I've got a review of this coming up very soon and what a fragrance. Um, oh yeah, beautiful. Um, I have a review of this glass coming up very soon, so stay tuned. And check out Olaf Tappert on Facebook, on Instagram, you'll find him. We should let that sit for about 30 minutes. And I did that last night. I'll tell you what happens with time in the glass, and we'll get right to it right now. The nose. Spot 
spicy. Stir-fried vegetables. Absolute leather. Polished wood. And with time, you get more of the dried fruits coming through if you let that sit for about 30 minutes. And it's starting to come out now. I also get some waxed red candies, like the red lips that used to be made of wax. There's also a straw that was made of wax that you would bite an end off of and then drink the liquid and then you'd have the wax to chew on and get the rest of the, the sweet flavor out of. A little bit of honey coming through here. Just your standard clover honey. A little bit of that slightly, I'm guessing a little bit of peat in the malt. And also you get that slightly flinty gunpowdery note from Glenfarclas as it's direct fired. And now you've got big, beautiful, wonderful multi tones coming through here. And yes, now I can smell the Oloroso sherry casks coming through with some beautiful just dark fruits, delicious. Very nice. Okay, onto the palate. Cheers, folks. This full flavored juxtaposition of dark red fruits and leather and uh, liniment and polished oak, malty, some icing sugar, like a um, fondant icing. Mmm, hint of peat there. And that that uh, oomph from that direct fired, adding that little bit of um, wonderful, attractive sulfur and brimstone, just delicious kind of a flavor. Wonderful. Uh, I want to show you how you can really, really get a nice small taste with this one. So you can absolutely get just a single drop if you if you want, which I think is ideal for tasting. Yes, wonderful, um, that icing sugar icing. Beautiful candy, leather, delicious uh, dark red fruits, some light strawberry coming through, strawberry on the finish, along with the leather, very nice. Now, when you add water to old whiskey, they say you should put very little. So we'll just add a couple of drops. One. Come on. Here it comes. Two, three. Oh, that was three drops. Still very minimal water. We're talking about uh, a quarter of a milliliter. The finish on the palate neat is really long, really sweet, candied red fruits. Super delicious. Super delicious. George Grant, I salute you. Cheers. Even more leathery, sweet. It's really hard to describe. 
it's sweet. It's got this icing sugar sweetness. It's got this dark fruitiness. It's got this wonderful leather coming through. And I forgot about the nose. So let's get back into that with water. Christmas candies, some light fruit cake, candied strawberry, some white chocolate. Yes, wow. The lightest little bit of um, like cafe au lait. What an interesting nose. I think I like it equally with water and without, neat and with water. Okay, the palette again with water. More Christmas candy. We have the red, um, red candied, like the, what do you call that? The sugar sprinkled jujubes, red ones, green ones. We have the sweet, not the mint um, candy cane, but the sweet like, strawberry and um, bubblegum flavor. It's, it's red and pink. Really, really delicious. Very candied, really candied on the finish as well. More strawberry, more candied strawberry. Well, if this crowd of executives is is not thrilled with this, then I think I'd have to quit <laughs> because it's incredible. And uh, I think they're going to be super, super thrilled with this. I think I mentioned that the Winnipeg Whiskey Club absolutely loved Glenn Farkless 25. And this is... It's, it's like the same thing, but just amped up, thrown up one, one notch. It, that was 10, and this is 11. Hmm. Supremely long finish. Long, delicious finish. Full flavored. Very complex finish. Final taste. Hmm. A little bit of white pepper in there. Just adding some balance to that sweet, red fruity, candied, slightly um, flinty, delicious concoction that this is. Wonderful. Well, it's that time, folks. Let's get on to the Whiskey Whistle Whiskey Score for Glenn Farkless. Age 30 years as I take away my my table mat there. All right, what's that going to be, folks? It's going to be 95 out of 100. You heard it, 95 out of 100 is the Whiskey Whistle Whiskey score for Glenn Farkless, 30-year-old single malt scotch whiskey. Woo! Boy, wow. Beautiful stuff. Highly recommend that if you're looking for something super special, and this bottle was, I think, about $700 or $800-ish in Alberta. Probably that'd be under $600 US, maybe under $700. I can't quite say because of that new tax. Isn't that annoying? Anyway, boy, cheers, folks. Big cheers to Glenn Farkless and to George Grant. Cheers. Mmm. Mm, 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 mm. Beautiful. 95 points. What else is there to say? Subscribe. Hit the bell. Check me out on Patreon. Patreon.com slash Whiskey Whistle. Join the Whiskey Whistle crew. Get your name in the credits and get advanced viewing to all my reviews like this one. All right. Take care, folks. Bye now.